When your pet has a medical emergency, you need Animal Emergency Care, staffed by caring professionals to serve your pet in a state-of-the-art veterinary hospital. Open nights, weekends, and every major holiday. Animal Emergency Care, in Bellingham and online at animalemergencycare.net. We have a vicious animal for you today. Oh, look out. Beware. Oh, oh, I'm being attacked. (laughs) This is Francesca, and I'm not kidding about the vicious animal part, even though she's maybe 10 pounds, Laura says. She looks so sweet and innocent, Laura, but Mm. we know better. Vicious, sassy pants. We prefer sassy pants. Okay, all right, sassy pants. I like that, She's a bit of a sassy pants. Well, she's a lover in here. She she, is. She clearly likes people a lot. She adores people. Other animals, not so much. Okay, And she's not afraid to tell you all about it or them all about it. Her name is? Francesca. Francesca. She's eight years old, little Boston Terrier. She came in as a stray in terrible physical shape, needed a ton of veterinary care, Um, and, uh, during her few weeks that we've had her at the shelter, we have learned that, um, she will take on any dog that she meets, big or small. Um, she especially likes to back the bigger dogs into the corners until they tuck their tails and scream for help. (laughs) Cat's not a fan of. Loves people, loves to go for walks, Mm -hmm. loves to ride in the car, loves to snuggle, as you can see, not afraid of anybody. I mean, like she just meets new people and they're her best friends. She came right in, introduced herself. Yep. Wanted to get on my lap. Yep. Gave me kisses. Um, I took her in a car that she'd never been in. She sat in the front seat like a champ and every stoplight you pull up to people just smile because you look (laughs) at her and how can you not think she's the most adorable thing? So her deal is... Okay, let's get down. She, um, she has, I think, three teeth left in her. She had a really bad dental condition. Which is common in smaller dogs. It is. Um, One of those teeth is her snaggle tooth. She also had a cancerous mammary tumor removed from our veterinary clinic. And our vet has determined that, unfortunately, that is a, probably a malignant tumor and it will come back at some point in time. Okay. So a new home, we are kind of looking for a hospice type home. But the thing is, is we don't know whether this tumor is going to come back in three months, three years, or five years. What we know right now is she is loving life. Mm-hmm. She loves to go swimming in the kitty swimming pool that we have set up for her. She loves to roll around in the grass and she snorts like a little piggy and rolls on her back and thinks it's just great to be outside. So we're looking for somebody that has the financial resources and can emotionally handle the fact that this dog probably is not going to live the next 10 years, but maybe for the next 10 months, she's going to have a great ride. Yeah. What a joy to getting to show her the best of life yeah. for as long as she has it. Yeah. And um, if she can be a princess and an only child in your household, that's going to be a win-win for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think she would be a great dog if somebody travels a lot. Um, we were thinking she might be a good RV dog, but then at the same time, if you pull up to the RV park and the RV next to you happens to have other animals, <laughs> might not be the best thing in the world because she really really is sassy with other animals. But I'll tell you what, if you're just a retired person who's home a lot, doesn't have any other animals, just looking for somebody to love, this is your gal. Okay. She is cool. She's super friendly and lovey. She's, I, I can't even picture her being her being all spunky um, like that. I, I wish we could take video. So we have a, a large sort of lab-sized stuffed dog at the Whatcom Humane Society that we use to do some temperament evaluations with other animals. And it was sitting in the front office one day and one of the volunteers was walking her and walked by and she took one look at it. She leapt at it. She knocked it to the ground. She jumped on top of it and she was like, I own you. (laughs) And it was like, what are you doing? And she was quite proud of herself too. And then she strutted out of the shelter and rolled around in the grass. So she, um, she would have made a great professional wrestler. Wow. Because it's all about her. Sure. Yeah. All right, Francesca, let's see if we can find you a home with no critters to beat up. You sure are a sweetie in here. All right, Francesca looking for a new home that's not afraid to take in a dog that may not have the longest life. But she'll have a happy life. Yeah, that's the idea. And with with summer weather coming again, a little kitty swimming pool, she's going to, you're just going to smile every time you see her hop in it. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Okay. Laura Clark from the Watkins Humane Society, thanks for introducing us to Francesca. Have a great week.